Understanding the Research Dance, the Tango of Moderator and Mediator Variables. Engaging in research, particularly in the social sciences, is akin to a sophisticated dance. It's a nuanced performance that requires understanding complex relationships. Two frequent partners in this dance are moderator and mediator variables, both of which change the way we interpret the relationships between other variables. Allow me to paint a picture against the backdrop of research to illustrate their dynamic roles. Let's explore an example that's close to home, the impact of rain on the mood of Portlanders. Situation, the rainy mood study. Imagine you're conducting research on how weather influences mood. Your primary interest is the relationship between rainfall, independent variable, and the mood of Portland residents, dependent variable. Here, let's inject a mediator variable, say, the amount of time spent outside. Mediator variable, time spent outside. A mediator variable explains the process through which the independent variable influences the dependent variable. In Portland, where rain is as common as bicycles and coffee shops, people often spend less time outdoors when it's wet. The time spent outside becomes a mediator in our study. It provides insight into why rainfall might affect mood. Here's how it works. More rain leads to less time spent outdoors. Less time spent outdoors may lead to poorer mood, because of less exposure to natural light, decreased physical activity, or limited social interaction. With asterisk mediation analysis, we'd test whether less time outdoors is actually the bridge connecting our rainy weather to the city's collective gloom. Moderator variable, preference for rain. Now, consider the possibility of adding a moderator variable, like an individual's preference for rain. A moderator variable affects the strength or direction of the relationship between an independent and a dependent variable. In our Portland scene, not everyone despises rain. In fact, some people adore it. So their day might brighten up with the patter of raindrops on their window pane. The influence of rainfall on mood could be weaker or even positive for these rain lovers. The moderator variable, in this case, adjusts the relationship we're studying based on the specific attribute of the individual, their rainy day preference. With asterisk moderated regression analysis, we would assess if and how the preference for rain changes the relationship between our key players, the downpour, and the resident spirits. The final act, a research harmony. It's quite the dance. We have rain choreographing moods with the time spent outside mediating this movement and the personal penchant for precipitation moderating the performance. In Portland or any lab or field study, understanding the role of mediators and moderators is like recognizing the different steps in a tango. They can completely transform the interpretation of our results. And as we conduct more studies, we uncover more layers in these relationships, which can inform interventions, public policies, or just satisfy our curiosity about the nature of things. In Portland, this understanding could lead to more covered parks or embracing rainy days as part of the city's charm, knowing full well how each drop might weigh differently on each of us. Whether it's the streets of the City of Roses or the corridors of academia, Grasping the essence of moderator and mediator variables can fundamentally alter our understanding of cause, effect, and everything in between. Consider this your research umbrella, useful for the inevitable Portland showers of complexity in the world of variables. Keep dancing, my friends, and let the data lead.